There are few of you, very few I presume, who have not finally come around to something I have noted uh, for decades, everything the left touches it destroys, and that now includes the judicial system. It's a very, it's a very, very dark day. I try to understate things. In light of that, I debated whether I should say the following. However, because I've debated it, and I've had hours to think about whether I would say it, I will say it. I believe that this judge, Juan Mershon, under different circumstances, would have been, for example, a judge in Stalin's Soviet Union. He is not committed to justice. He is committed to furthering the cause of the party with which he affiliates. That's it. That, that is, that is uh, th- forget the jurors. This I've said on a number of occasions, the trial of a, any conservative, let alone the leading one on earth, in New York City or Washington, D.C., is analogous to a trial of a a black accused of murdering a, a white in the segregated South. Or even better, the, the a white accused of murdering a black in front of a white jury in Jim Crow America or Jim Crow South, the chances of that of that white being found guilty are essentially the same as Donald Trump being found not guilty in New York City or Washington, D.C. or a few other places. 34 million dollars I believe is the sum uh, that uh, was sent in immediately my producer is one of those people who sent in money and th- there is th- th- there is tragically I wrote this about 20 years ago a civil war in the United States it, it is it more apparent every day that the gulf between left and right is unbridgeable. You're very naive if you think it is bridgeable. They will do anything, including open the borders to millions upon millions of people to come into the United States, to, to end the United States as we know it, so as to keep the Democratic Party, which is increasingly similar to the Communist Party of the Soviet Union, in power. This was a farce, this trial. It was, it was a farce. A man paid a hundred something thousand dollars to a woman so as not to speak about an alleged uh, one night stand that they had. That is it. It's a mis- whatever he was done, whatever the business issue over, over a paltry sum of money when you think about it in, in terms of, of his, his money and, and, and in America. You you don't you don't try the leading candidate the the candidate of the opposition party and a former president on those grounds. This has never happened in the United States because the left has never been in power in the United States. Liberals and conservatives have been in power, but not the left. The left is now in power everywhere. In your schools in medicine, you name it. For the full episode of The Dennis Prager Show, go to PragerTopia.com, sign up, and become a full member.